for this video, we're gonna be discussing the domain and range of inverse trigonometric functions. So, recall muna natin ang definition ng domain and range. When we say domain, it consists of all the input values shown on the x-axis. And when we say range, it consists of all the output values shown on the y-axis. Also, let's recall the horizontal line test. Saan ba natin ginagamit ang horizontal line test? At papaano natin siya ginagawa? It is done by drawing horizontal line onto the graph. And if it passes the graph more than once, then the graph or the function is not one-to-one. -one. Kagaya na lang ng graph na ito. As you can see, the, the horizontal line passes through the graph more than once. And this is no longer a one-to-one -one function. On the other hand, when a table of values of the variable y or f of x and one value is repeated, it's not one-to-one -one function anymore. Kagaya ng table of values na ito. So, ito yung domain natin, yung values ng x, at ito yung range natin, yung values ng y. And as you can see, one value is repeated. So, the 2 is repeated. Remember that a function f has an inverse function f raised to negative 1 if and only if the function is 1 to 1. So, binigyan natin ng emphasis ang 1 to 1 function dito dahil ang mga functions ng sine or graph ng functions na sine, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, at cosecant, all of these functions are not 1 to 1. So, how are we going to have the inverse functions or inverse of trigonometric functions. Let's have the inverse cosine function first. So the symbol of our inverse cosine function is cosine raised to negative 1 or arc cosine. This is the graph of the cosine function. And as you can see, if we're going to, to do the horizontal line test here, it is not 1 to 1. Okay, so how are we going to make it 1 to 1? Let's have the shaded portion in this graph from 0 to pi. Kung dito lang sa portion na ito, gagawa tayo ng horizontal line test. Tung portion na ito is 1 to 1. Okay? So here, we can have restrictions. So the domain of this function or this specific function is from 0 to pi. And to see the graph of the inverse cosine function, let's have this line. This line is y equals x. The inverse functions are reflection over this line. And this is the graph of the arc cosine or the inverse cosine function. Again, ito ulit yung graph ng ating cosine function. The domain is from 0 to pi. From 0 to pi, siya ay 1 to 1. Then the range is negative 1 to positive 1. Let's have now the arc cosine or the inverse cosine function. The domain here is from negative 1 to positive 1. And the range is from 0 hanggang pi. And as you can see kung ano yung domain ng function natin, yun yung magiging range ng ating inverse. At kung ano yung range ng ating function, yun yung magiging domain ng ating inverse function. So these are the domain and range of our cosine and inverse cosine function. Now for the inverse sine function, this is the graph of our sine function. So the restriction here is from negative 1 half pi or the domain is negative 1 half pi up to the positive 1 half pi. Because in this portion, this is 1 to 1. So the domain is from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. And the range is from negative 1 to positive 1. For the graph of our arc sine, the domain is from negative 1 to positive 1. And the range is from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. So this is the domain from negative 1 to positive 1. Then the range is from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. 
And again, the domain of the function is the range of its inverse. And the range of the function is the domain of its inverse. For the inverse tangent function, so ito yung graph ng ating tangent function. At ito yung kanyang domain, not including negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2 kasi nandun yung mga vertical asymptotes natin. Okay, so ito yung domain. And the range is from negative infinity to positive infinity or the set of all real numbers. Now, for the graph of our arc tangent, the domain is the set of all real numbers. And the range is within negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So, ito yung range natin and yung domain natin. For the inverse secant function, here's the graph. And the domain is the union of the range from 0 papunta sa pi over 2. But not including pi over 2 because we have vertical asymptote here. Okay? And from here, pi over 2, not including pi over 2 again, going to pi. And for the range, it is the union of the range from negative infinity to negative 1. Ito yung curve na pababa. And from positive 1 to positive infinity. Yung curve na pataas. And for the graph of our arc secant function, we have this domain. So kung ano yung range ng ating function, yun yung domain ng ating inverse function. At kung ano yung domain ng ating function, yun naman ang range ng ating inverse function. For the inverse cosecant function, so ito yung graph ng ating cosecant function. The domain is from negative pi over 2 up to 0 but not including 0 because we have a vertical asymptote dito sa 0 na to. And from here, going to pi over 2. And for the range, it is the union from negative infinity going to negative 1 and positive 1 going to positive infinity. And for the graph of our arc cos secant function, the domain is the range of the function, and the range is the domain. And lastly, for our inverse cotangent function, ito yung graph niya. The domain is from 0 to pi. 0 hanggang pi. And the range is the set of all real numbers. And here is the graph of our arc cotangent function. The domain is the set of all real numbers, while the range is from 0 to pi. So, nandito yung summary ng mga domain at range ng bawat inverse trigonometric function. Now, let's have some exercises. Find the domain and range of y is equal to arc sine of the quantity 5x plus 1. In this problem, Given that the domain of the arc sine function is from negative 1 to 1, then we will have this one. x is greater than or equal to negative 1, but less than and equal to negative 1. So we have to solve inequalities. So in this part, ito yung x natin. So we have the quantity 5x plus 1 greater than or equal to negative 1, but less than or equal to negative 1. So, let's subtract 1 from both sides. So, negative 1 minus 1 sa left side and 1 minus 1 sa right side. Then, simplify. Sa left side, we have negative 2. And sa right side, we have 0. Then, divide both sides by 5. So, sa left side, we have negative 2 fifths. And sa right side, we have 0. And from here, we can have the domain. And the domain is from negative 2 fifth hanggang 0. And the range that is from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. So kung titingnan natin siya sa graph, ganito siya. So ito yung domain natin. This is negative 2 fifth and this is 0. So dito lang yung portion ng ating domain. And for our range that is from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2. Example number 2. Find the domain and range of 
y is equal to 2 r cosine of the quantity 4x minus 2. Given that the domain of the r cosine function is from negative 1 to 1, just like our sine function, then we're going to have the same thing that we did in our arc sine function. So by solving inequalities, we're going to have the quantity 4x minus 2 greater than or equal to negative 1 but less than or equal to 1. Then, add 2 to both sides. So negative 1 plus 2 and positive 1 plus 2. Then simplify, we have 1 sa left side and 3 sa right side. Divide both sides by 4. So we have 1 fourth sa left side and 3 fourths sa ating right side. And from here, we can conclude our domain. That is from 1 fourth to 3 fourths. And for the range, that is from 0 to 2 pi. Since a is equal to 2, yung a matatagpuan natin dito sa coefficient ng ating r cosine. So if we have the value of a, we're going to multiply that to the minimum and the maximum value of our range. And for the graph, this is our domain from 1 fourth to 3 fourths. So dito siya. And for our range, ito yung 0 natin, ito yung 2 pi natin, from 0 to 2 pi. For our third example, find the domain and range of y is equal to arc tangent of 2x. We can have the domain as the set of all real numbers in our arc tangent function. And the range is between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So here's the graph of our arc tangent 2x. So the set of all real numbers, yung domain natin, and the range is from or between negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. So not including, kaya we have horizontal asymptotes. And also for our fourth example, we have y is equal to 2 arc cotangent of the quantity 2x minus 4. So here we can say that domain is also the set of all real numbers, kagaya ng tangent function natin. And the range is from 0 to 2 pi, or between 0 to 2 pi, since a is equal to 2. Okay, so yung range natin is between 0 to pi. So multiply lang natin sila sa 2. So yung 0 times 2 is 0, and pi times 2 is 2 pi. So between 0 to 2 pi ang ating range. And this is the graph. So x is the set of all real numbers. Well, the range is between 0 to 2 pi. Okay, not including 2 pi. So there should be a horizontal asymptote here. For our fifth example, find the domain and range of y is equal to 3 arc secant of x. At dahil wala naman tayong ibang value dito, aside from x, we can have our domain in our arc secant function. And based from our discussion earlier, we discussed that the domain of arc secant function is the union from negative infinity to negative 1 and from 1 to positive infinity. So that is the domain of our function. And for the range of arc secant function, that is the union from 0 approaching pi over 2 and from pi over 2 up to pi. And since we have the value of a, which is 3, we're going to multiply the minimum and the maximum values of our range. That's why we have the union of 0 approaching 3 pi over 2, and from 3 pi over 2, not including this, going to 3 pi. This is our range. And kung titignan natin siya sa graph, ito siya. Yung domain, that is from negative infinity going to negative 1. So this is negative 1. And from positive 1 going to positive infinity. And for the range, this part from 0 approaching 3 pi over 2. Not including 3 pi over 2 because this is a horizontal asymptote. So this is not part of the solution. And from this horizontal asymptote, going to 3 pi. For our last problem, we need to find the domain 
and the range of y is equal to 1 half r cos secant of 5x. And since we have 5x here, we need to compute for the domain. And since the domain of the arc cosecant function is the union from negative infinity to negative 1 and 1 to positive infinity, then we're going to have this. 5x is less than or equal to negative 1 but greater than or equal to positive 1. So by solving the inequalities, we need to divide both sides by 5. So we have now negative 1 fifth sa left and positive 1 fifth sa right. And our domain now is the union from negative infinity up to the negative one-fifth and from positive one-fifth going to positive infinity. The range of our cosecant function is the union from negative pi over 2 approaching 0 and from 0 to pi over 2. And since we have a value of a which is 1 half, we're going to multiply this in the minimum and the maximum values of our range. And the range now is the union from negative pi over 4 approaching 0 and 0 up to positive pi over 4. So this is how the graph of our function looks like. So domain muna tayo. From negative infinity to negative 1 fifth. So this is 1 fifth. From positive 1 fifth going to positive infinity. So that is our domain. And for the range that is from negative 1 fourth to positive 1 fourth, not including 0 because we have a horizontal asymptote in this part. And this is the end of our video. If you find this video informative, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. God bless us all.